Alright, um, today I'm going to be talking to you about Android Pro Widgets. It's made by Dr. Apchi, that's A-P-P-C-H-E. Um, interesting thing about it, uh, the reason that I decided to go ahead and actually do a, uh, a video walkthrough is this right here. It says a scroll button is used on launchers that don't support scrollable widgets. Uh, otherwise, scrolling is always enabled, and then it proceeds to list uh, the HD sense, HTC Sense and TouchWiz don't support scrollable widgets, but that Honeycomb uh, ADW Launcher, Launcher Pro, Go Launcher X, and some others support them. Um, now, I found uh, one launcher that kind of surprised me, and that was the standard home launcher on my Google Nexus S. Uh, just because the normal launcher on uh, Android typically does not support uh, scrollable widgets, or at least it, it never has, at least until now. That was one of the reasons that I actually used Go Launcher X, one of the reasons I kept going back to them, was because a calendar widget is just really nice to be able to scroll through. So I'll kind of show you the widgets that I've got set up. I've got a, a, a timeline widget, um, which does Twitter and Facebook. And you'll notice with that, I can click on whatever's on the screen, but there is no scrolling. Now this button right here is the regular scroll button. What normally would happen before the last update is you'd press on that, and then you'd actually get two buttons, one up, one down, and it would go page, it, was, it worked like a page up and page down button. Now, you press on it, you see loading, and then you see a symbol pop up here, and that shows that you can actually scroll. Scrolling is... Uh, is completely turned on, scroll up, scroll down. It doesn't stop scrolling until you scroll off the page. Scroll off the page and come back, and it's not scrolling anymore. Press it again, and it'll scroll. Come over here to the agenda widget. Um, it works exactly the same. One of the interesting things about the agenda widget is it has two views for it. It has both the agenda view, and it has a, uh, a regular calendar grid view, which it, uh, pressing up here actually brings that up. Uh, one complaint that I do have about this program is it does take a little bit before that actually does its switch. So I mean, we'll go back, we'll go away, come back, and it still hasn't done it. I will show you uh, the ability to scroll, press on it, get the scroll bar, and you can scroll through. It does, you can see up here, have uh, um, different colors for your different uh, for your different calendars, but. There you see, you can scroll all the way through. Now, interesting things, it does actually give you the up and down buttons on this one after you enable uh, scrolling. So, scrolling really shouldn't work. Okay, so that's what that's what the actual grid looks like. Um, you can see the way that I've got it, it's actually colored. Uh, the dots that show something is on that day is colored according to the calendar that whatever those activities fall into. Now this isn't scrollable, that's why you have those up and down buttons. Um, once again, you press up there and it pops up the agenda widget. You just press on that, loads. You'll get the scroll bar. And there you go. Um, the agenda widget is one that actually comes with that set of widgets. Uh, this timeline widget is not. It's something that you actually have to purchase the key for. Now the key, according to the Android market, is $1.99. It's a separate program. Works basically the same as the unlock key that you find on the uh, unlock documents to go. Basically, the two have to coexist on your system in order for it to be unlocked. But once it's unlocked, you have access to a ton of different widgets. I'll just show you some of the ones. It does have the ability to get rid of widgets if you don't use them. So I've actually gotten rid of a couple of different sizes and things. But you've got bookmarks, a calendar, uh, messaging, people. Uh, this APW Say What, what that is, it's a 4x1 widget that sits on your home screen. allows you to update your Twitter and your Facebook. That's it. Um, and then your timeline, you know, if you come over here, you can actually use this widget, and, uh, you can update your, your timeline from this widget, so there you go, status update, come down here, and click whether you want Facebook or Twitter, put in your 140 characters, 
you know, we'll get back out of there because I'm not going to use it. Um, as far as the timeline goes, you, know, you can switch between your timeline and your actu oh, actual like direct messages, um, direct messages and posts, just like you can with anything else, and just like with everything else, totally scrollable. So. That was a APW widget. Like I said, Dr. Apti. Definitely go show him some love. Uh, great app. And so far, from what I can tell, great dev. Uh, lots of different things that he's done. Um, including the ability to theme your, uh, your widgets. So, alright. Uh, you can find me at geekydad.wordpress.com Or you can go ahead and... Uh, find me at Google Plus and that's at gplus.to slash T-H-E-W-R-M uh, find me on there, send me a message I'll be looking for you